how many people are being killed by the quarantine. There's really good data that is solid from you know, dozens and dozens of studies that show that number one, isolation kills lots of people. It kills people through depression, it kills people through mistakes, it kills people from not getting you know, routine medical care. It, it kills people in a lot of different ways, but also it, um, unemployment kills people. So there's a really good 1982 book that's considered authoritative. And that book did all of the modeling on, you know, on historical unemployment rates. And this was a long time ago. So our population has you know, almost doubled since then. Um, but what they, that book found is that for every point in unemployment, if there's 37,000 people die, um, 9,000 people die from heart attacks, uh, 900 people die from suicides, all these different reasons that they die. And then 3,000, 3,300 people go to prison for every one point, and an extra 4,000 people end up in mental institutions. Oh, we're looking at unemployment rates from this quarantine that are going to exceed 35%. In other words, the increase has gone from 3.5% and it will go to 35%. You multiply 37,000 by 30 and you're looking at over a million people, about 1.1 million people who could die from the quarantine just from that metric. And then there's a lot of other metrics, for example, what do we, you know, we are hurting the, uh, we're disrupting the food, the supply chains for foods and medicines. So people are not going to get their medicines. People are not going to get their foods. This has nothing to do with unemployment. People are also today are not seeing doctors for routine medication, for routine treatment. People who have cancer, people who have diabetes, people have hypertension who are skipping doctor's appointments because of the quarantine, those people are also at risk. And then there's the impacts on children who aren't going to school. So there's a tremendous amount of impacts that have not been modeled. 